Let's give a warm welcome to Lloyd Langford. Hello. Uh, my name is Lloyd. I am a man, and we do fucking dumb things. I live in Melbourne, right? And when we had the uh, anti-vax protests in Melbourne, I saw a guy holding up a placard, and on the placard he'd written, Eat my ass, Dan Andrews. I went past this guy on the tram, right, three days in a row. On the fourth day, I was like, I'm getting off the tram. I'm going to talk to him. I went up to talk to him. I said, can I have a word with you? He was like, no, 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 you can't stop me from protesting. I said, I'm not trying to stop you from protesting, mate. I just want you to know, right, if you were showing someone disrespect, then the phrase is, kiss my ass. <laughs> you need a placard that says, kiss my ass, Dan Andrews. Because eat my ass. <laughs> That's a different vibe. <laughs> that is something you would only ask someone you fully trust. <laughs> That's not even an acquaintance. That's a fucking good friend. <laughs> eat my ass is Christmas card territory. <laughs> We just had a baby, me and my partner, right? And uh, yeah, I've, I've, uh, don't cheer that. It's just, it's just the context for a joke. <laughs> Basic biology. <laughs> me and my partner, our daughter Gwen, we were in Maya. We were in the cafe area of Maya. I went to use the bathroom, and as I was leaving, Anne said to me, I think we're going to have to change Gwen in a minute. Can you? Just go and check out the parents' room, and if it looks okay, right, we'll we'll use it. I was like, fine, right. So I went I went to the bathroom. That was all good. I went to go in the parents' room. I never been in a parents' room before, right? You never been in there. There's like microwaves for warming up milk. There's like change tables. There's lots of comfy sofas, right? If you've ever taken drugs in a nightclub, <laughs> it's kind of like a chill out room, but for babies. <laughs> And it had one of these doors, you push the button and the door automatically kind of opened like that, right? So I pushed the button and the door slides open and directly facing the door, two women breastfeeding babies. Yeah. What I said next, <laughs> I think we can all agree, was an error. I said, oh, don't mind me, I'm just having a look. I meant that the environs of the room, you know? But they're like, oh great, a fucking lactation-based pervert. <laughs> like I'm there, like I can only properly get it hard if I see a complete latch. <laughs> and then I realized what they must have been thinking. I said, oh no, 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 no. I've got a baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 I've got a baby. And they're both looking at me going, no, you haven't, mate. You don't have a baby. So I had to sprint back to Anne, who was at the cafe. She said, how was the parents' room? I said, I, I haven't got time to talk. Give me Gwen. I need Gwen. <laughs> Run back to the parents' room, right? Push the door again. The door slides open. I'm just in the doorway, slightly out of breath holding a loose baby. <laughs> Haven't got a pram or any of the <laughs> traditional baby accessories. And they're looking at me then going, oh great, he's fucking nicked the baby now. <laughs> he's a pervert, but he's committed. <laughs> Is there like a panic button in here or something? <laughs> I'm supposed to do five minutes, and uh, there's a little clock there telling me I've got uh, 13 seconds left. 
maybe I shouldn't have spoke so quickly. <laughs> That'll do. Take it easy. Good night. <laughs>